What's going on vape fam? So I'm saying bringing you another video today and today we are going to talk about the FDA regulations. Now I know I do not have the influence or the subscribers that Grim Green and Suck My Mind have so you know my reaching out to you guys is very limited so I don't have like thousands and thousands of subscribers to reach out to but I will tell you guys this, um, even if I can support, even if I can get one or just a few people to advocate, it would do us so much good. So basically the FDA just released, you know, a, a sh really, really strict thing on vapors. Um, they are very lenient with smokers, like always. Um, now I do agree with the reasonable things the FDA does, you know, like l proper labeling, or selling the miners we don't we don't we've been doing that since we've been a vape community and the thing that I can ask you guys to do is just to be more adult instead of saying F the FDA on Facebook or having DNA 200 screams that say F the FDA you know guys we have we it, that reflects on all of us as vapors and basically what we need to do is we need to be more constructive we need to come together we need you know reach out you know contact your local senators local representatives tell them you support HR 2058 now just no don't don't no do your do it yourself kits don't be stockpiling on juice none of that good stuff what you need to do is be more constructive stop worrying uh, right now it's not time to panic. It is time for us to come together, be a vape community, and stand up for our right to vape. Now, I understand. I, I, I'm worried just like everybody else. But the fact is, we need to come together. Tell them we support HR 2058. You know, just, just be constructive. Reach out to your representatives. You know, we can't have that outlook of just, hey, let's stock up. Because I want to continue to vape. It's not that we need to fight so we can just so we can continue to vape. So we can keep having to, uh, having vaping evolve. I mean, this could wipe out 99% of the vape products out on the market today because they have to pay millions, millions of dollars just to get their product reviewed by the FDA. And when the product is reviewed by the FDA, it's not even a guarantee that it's going to be approved by the FDA. So they could lose out on millions and millions of dollars. You know, FDA could be like, no, nah, no, nah, we're not, we're not going to let that be on the shelves or whatever. And they, the company's already paid millions of dollars just to have it go through that screening process. So basically, it's going to run a lot of businesses out of business. You know, you're not going to have no more free samples at at vape shops. You're not going to. You might not even have any vape shops left because they are a small business and small businesses are definitely going to pay the price the biggest with this. So we need to come together, support HR 2058, reach out to your, your senators, your representatives, tell them you support HR 2058, go to org. You know, Safada, notblowingsmoke.org. Now, I did see on Facebook just recently today that all these companies have come together to coexist and fight this war with us. Now, don't expect them to just do it all by uh, by themselves. I mean, they need your support and your and your drive to keep them going. Um, instead of just instead of being like you know, hey. F the FDA is, you know, don't, don't, don't be like that. Just don't. It's, it's not a good image on all of us. Now, it's, yes, it is disappointing. You know, we did have a college that said, you know, vaping is 95% safer than the traditional, traditional cigarettes. And a week later, you know, FDA, not even a week later, the FDA releases this stuff saying, you know, hey, nobody cares regulated so to me not only does it make me mad but it kind of it bugs me that the FDA our FDA would rather us smoke than be on something that's 95% more effective and 95% more safer than the traditional cigarettes so it makes me feel you know hey 
you guys just don't even care about my health. I mean, you would rather me be on medicine or oxygen tanks and all that good stuff to than to live a full life and be healthy and enjoy what I'm doing. So basically, this is a call to action for all of you guys that are watching this video. I don't have that much influence as a lot of the other YouTubers, but I need to do my part. I need to reach out to you guys. I need to tell you guys, please reach out to your senators, your legislators, just get a hold of everybody that you can possibly get and tell them you support HR 2058. So basically, HR 2058, since the FDA, their date is 2007. So it's comparing, you know, like all the vape market, all the vape supplies that are on the market right now. There's nothing that we have that compares to 2007. Nothing. I mean, there's nothing. So it's going to wipe out 99% of the vape products. So basically what you guys, what HR 2058 does is change that grandfather date to 2016. And that is basically means everything that's on the market will stay on the market instead of just disappearing. Guys, please, I am begging you if you are watching this, just please do your part. Support your right to vape. I will be putting money back. Try to send to Kisa, all that good stuff. That way I can hopefully try to try to my best to do my part to try to help these companies just continue to fight this because it, it's not just up to the companies, it's up to us. We're the vapors, we're the consumers. We need to fight for our right for things that we enjoy doing. <laughs> so Please, guys, I urge you, support HR 2058. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. And please share this video, like, uh, comment. Just please support HR 2058, guys.